my children were basically starved to death. Justina Valva can't bring back her eight-year-old son, Thomas, a special needs student with mild autism, but she can demand accountability from the child welfare workers and judges who gave custody of her three sons to ex-husband Michael Valva and his girlfriend, Angela Polina. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Valva said her 10-year-old son was also forced into Michael Valva's freezing garage. He had frostbite on his hands, um, on his legs. The East Mauritius School District had expressed concern about the two oldest boys in this letter sent in April 2018. They were looking for food on a classroom floor in the garbage. Um, they were coming to school wearing diapers. Angela Polina, a one-time hospital biller, also had three daughters living in the house. Gino Kelly is dad to the youngest, who's now eight. I would watch Angela physically abuse her twin girls before the boys were involved, before my daughter was even born. She would beat one of the girls. I would break it up. <laughs> Didn't get threatened that she was going to call police. Justina Valva has boxes of records in her Valley Stream home dealing with her divorce and family court cases. She posted audio on Twitter claiming her ex-husband, a transit cop, was brainwashing the children against her. Mommy, hit me. Mommy, hit me. Mommy, don't touch me. Justina Valva also claims these Chase Bank records show large sums of money going through her ex-husband's accounts in recent years and wonders where the cash came from on a cop's salary. We're talking about a deposit ranging from $30,000 to $130,000 a month coming from unknown sources. Valva said she worried her sons were being sexually abused after one told her this story in 2016. Uh, just they've been recorded naked with the black camera. Now her two surviving sons are back with her. The first breakfast was just heartbreaking because I saw uh, my kids eating breakfast so fast. Um, Anthony must have like two giant bowl of cereal. He kept asking, when is dinner? When is lunchtime? The damage was so severe. They're going to need uh, long-term therapy with a very good specialist. Justina Valva told us her two boys are eager to go back to school and she will transfer them to a district in Valley Stream. But first, she must bury Thomas. The funeral for the eight-year-old is planned for this Thursday.